Want to be smarter? Want to be fitter? Want to be wealthier? Want to be better? This is Infinite Transcendence, where life mastery meets humor and sarcasm with a blunt approach. This is the place where we talk about mastering your life without the usual feel-good aspect. This is the podcast designed for people who want useful tips and information while being entertained. So sit back and enjoy the program. Hello again and welcome to Infinite Transcendence. This topic is going to be about the eight things you should always buy used. One thing about saving money is you know, people people are big. People say they want to save money, but they don't generally do it as much as they should. Some people say they want to lose weight and they never do that like they should. They don't really diet or eat properly or put in the exercise they really should to do it. They just want the instant result without the work. Same thing with saving money. Everybody says, everybody agrees that you should save money. You shouldn't overspend. And it's basically common sense or it should be. But how many people actually do it? How many people actually go through the uh, rep- repetition and the what's the word repetition? The consistent habit forming of planning their money and using it properly. Not many. The people develop habits do better financially and have less to worry about in the long run and just in day to day. And I want to talk about that in terms of saving, buying, saving money in terms of buying things used because a lot of things people buy, they buy them new either to show off or to feel important or because they just do it because they feel it's normal or they just don't think about it much. And I want to show you things that you can buy that are used that give you the same value, sometimes even more value, and they cost a lot less instead of buying it new and blowing your money on it. So I want to talk about that today. And the number one thing I really want to discuss is the really one that really bothers me is cars. Definitely buy your cars used. Now, there are some exceptions. For instance, you might be ultra mega rich and you buy cars as a collector, whatever. You can afford it if it's like buying a piece of candy to you, whatever. But most people are buying these cars used, especially in America. They buy these vehicles used because, I mean, sorry, they buy them new because they want to, it looks cooler, they want to show off, they want to look like they have money they don't have, they want to have that feeling of having a new car, they think it's more trustworthy, whatever. All that stuff is bogus. You can buy a car that is gently used. People who are well, I see, I know many people have money and they buy a lot of used cars. They don't buy raggedy. There's difference between buying a used car that's in great condition and a raggedy, beat up piece of junk, raggedy off the, off one of those, you know, off something you found on Craigslist, which I've done that, by the way. I bought one really cheap at my parents' advice and it was just a nightmare. But you can buy a vehicle that's two or three years old or at least a recently leased vehicle with, you know, 20, 30,000 miles on it, maybe 40,000, somewhere in that range, and get it for 50, 60% of the price. It's a huge bargain and the cars last so long you take care of them. A modern vehicle has such a long lifespan. Like, you know, back in the day, 100,000 miles was like oh, almost a day in lifespan. Now, today's people, cars last than 200,000 miles. The differences in aversions aren't as much. Nobody's going to know it's used except for you in most cases, like maybe you and your family, but most people don't know and don't care. I, at my vehicle, I bought, I bought a, a truck. That it was an 06 model, I bought an 09. I still had that same truck and it still looks great. Now, when I bought it, it looked pretty much damn new. And nobody knew. They thought it looked like a great truck. Who's, and, and I hardly have anybody in there with me. Who's going to know the difference? Nobody. A lot of people buy these new cars for their ego or to show off. You guys are just wasting your time. You can buy used cars and, and it looks great and fantastic. And nobody's going to know the difference. And you save so much money. that thirty four Because cars lose so much value when you drive them off the lot. That is just a huge loss. Let somebody else drive a new off the lot and you get it used. Or if you got to buy a car that's new, lease it. Now, people are going to say leasing is bad. Leasing leasing can have a bad connotation because a lot of people like luxury cars. Are mostly People mostly use lease luxury cars because people want to buy cars they normally couldn't afford by leasing it. But leasing is good, especially if you have a business because you can write off all the expense. Leasing gives you the experience of driving something new without all the hassle uh, of all the he- headache because you turn it in before the mileage is up. So if you get a good deal on something and you want to drive it new, lease it. But just get it used. Get something gently used that's in great shape and has been taken care of and put your money towards something else and invest it and save it. Clothes are the same thing. Like cl- Clothes are one of those items where if you buy it, use, I mean, it's hard to resell clothes for the amount you got them for, even if they were brand new and untouched because people just don't want to pay as much for used clothes. Clothes go out of fashion quickly. They go out of season quickly. People just, clothes are just something. People, people have a lot of clothes. Once they're used, they just don't get a lot of value. I mean, you can have an expensive fancy suit that's a couple thousand dollars new, and you can get it used for $60. I mean, literally. So there's no reason to be buying new clothes. You can buy clothes that are used, especially when you talking about higher end stuff. Now, and same thing with shoes. It may sound crazy, especially with dress shoes, especially with things like suits and shoes, which last a long time. You can definitely get those used <clears throat> because you'll find that like a lot of these suits, people, a lot of these suits and things like this, people wear one time for an occasion, for an event, and they just don't wear anymore or they get fat. If the people buy these really, they ain't just suits. 
fancy dresses, lots of nice outfits. And a lot of people wear one or once or twice, put it away, forget about it, and then they have to sell it. Or they put on a lot of weight, or the person dies, or they just get them given it to Goodwill. And a lot of these things are pretty much new. Or maybe they look at how do you know if it's new or used? And once you wear it, it's used anyways. And then you get it for like 90% off, go for it. 95% off, go for it. Now, if you can, sometimes you go to stores, they have clearance sales, they have back to school sales, you get things cheap. That's fine. You know, some things are so cheap. You find a $5 pair of jeans or a $10 pair of jeans, whatever, if you can find it new at a, at a good deal. But a lot of people are buying these designer clothes that are really expensive and pricey just for the label. You can buy a lot of stuff gently used and, and pay a tenth of the price. And who's going to know the difference? You know, it sounds like it's crazy. It sounds like it's weird. <coughs> Excuse me. It sounds like it's weird, but, you know, get over the ego because in reality, they're all the same. When it comes to things that are actually, you know, more quality built, like when it comes to suits where a cheap suit is a huge difference from a really nice suit, what you'll find is it's better to buy a really good used suit than it is to buy a brand new low-end outfit or suit or pair of shoes. Because you're going to buy something that's crappy and new and it goes out in two years or a year. You might as well buy something that's long-lasting where you could have kept it forever and you bought it much cheaper. And again, who's going to know the difference? So clothes are the same thing as cars. Exercise equipment. <clears throat> what reason is to buy new dumbbells? <clears throat> if you can't find them, get them, get them used. I mean, if you can't find them used, get them new. But there's Craigslist. There's all kinds of ways to buy. You can go to yard sales and buy used equipment. Get them used. That way you get all the, I mean, dumbbells are going to last forever. I mean, unless you're going to, you have to try to break those things. You know, exercise mat. You can get punching bags. I got my punching bag from a friend. Things like that, there's no reason to be, to be buying, there's no reason to buy any of that new unless it's something that's really difficult to find. Like you might have a hard time finding a weight vest. Maybe you buy that, you new. But most of your exercise equipment, buy a use for a half the price or less. No need to buy a new because they go up so much. That's where that gas increase. I remember back in 2007, I was buying new dumbbells from Dick's and I was going up from 40 pounds to 50 pounds to 60 pound dumbbells. And at one point they were 59 cents a pound and then the gas like surged in 2008. And all of a sudden they were like a dollar a pound. So they almost effectively doubled in price. They're probably even more now. I'm sure they're more now. But it was crazy how fast they went up in price. So buy those things used. People move. People lose their house. They move into apartments. People just stop working out. A lot of people don't want to work out anymore. Buy it and you enjoy it. <clears throat> no reason to buy it new. And then you have also books. Oh, actually, you also have lower end computers. Lower end computers for what I mean by this is, you know, most people buy consumer grade things like Dell or something. Buy that from a friend, buy a use. The end of, it's so low in that there's no reason to even buy it new. Just save it and buy a use as long as it's in good shape. You can also buy it new, but as long as it's in good shape, buy a use if you can because it's not, you're not going to use it for performance <clears throat> and the depreciation doesn't scale as badly. For higher end computers, it can be tricky. Like you're buying a high end gaming laptop, a new one can be $1,600 and one that's three years old can be $1,100. Why would you want to buy? Because people who buy their gaming laptops take them a lot more personally, so they want to sell them for a higher price. Well, don't for five hundred dollars just get a newer one because the depreciation in terms of tech is so fast that it's not worth it. But for a lower end stuff, it is worth it. Or like for me, I use my art tablet. I bought that used for two hundred dollars, but normally a brand new laptop or a device is like three grand. But since this particular model is just super cheap used, you save so much money buying a used. Same concept there. Books shouldn't have to explain this one. I mean, you have digital books now, but books. There's no reason to buy a new book. If you can buy a book used and it's not torn up or ripped up, buy a used. It saves you a lot of money. Although that said, books aren't generally that expensive, but there's a lot of great books that people read and don't want anymore. And you can buy them online for pennies on a dollar if you don't want to buy digital. So books are, are pretty much self-explanatory there. Just get those used as well. Uh, TV and other electronics. I mean, this is another one. Television, it, it, the TVs, I mean, as long as it works, you plug it in, it works, get it used. I mean, it's a TV. There's, you're not going to be doing a lot of crazy stuff on it. It should be fine. A lot of electronics, you know, yeah, you can buy anything from heaters, microphones, things like that. If it plugs in and it works, you know it works. It doesn't have any apparent problems. Get it. You, uh, refrigerators, another thing. Refrigerators, microwaves. A lot of people lose their house. A lot of people get foreclosed upon. They get rid of things. Get it used. Who's going to know the difference? You can always buy. You can often buy a really nice used item and get it cheaper than you would a new okay item. So just buy a used and get something that's much higher quality and put that thing to use. Find somebody who's going out of going out of going who's moving or is foreclosing or whatever. Maybe they're upgrading their model. Buy it from them and get a better deal and save your money and get something really nice. Same thing, and that, and that goes. Well, I say I put that uh, with instruments as well. Instruments definitely no reason to buy any new instruments. You know, I sold my oboe. I used to play oboe. I was in a drum line and I played the oboe. Oboe is one of these weird double reeded instruments, very hard to play. But I sold that to somebody some years back. She was probably in middle school. I'm sure she's out of school now because it was like back in 09 I sold my oboe 
but this is another item where, you know, if they're made out of metal, whether it's metal or wood, and it's just no reason to buy a new drumsticks, drum sets, oboe, French horn, whatever you're buying, they hold up just fine. As long as it's not beat up and banged up and wrecked, buy a used. People play instruments, they go in band, they get into, get into it in high school, they finish up, they go to college, they stop playing their instrument, they're done with it, they lose interest of it, they get bored with it, you know, buy it from them. There's no reason not to, saves you money saves your kid you know you're the parent it's good for you to put the money somewhere else there's no need to buy a new instrument buy it used save your money put it towards something else and i like i said well, the same thing with electronics furniture buy your furniture used there's no reason that i mean people go out of, people move people upgrade their furniture people go out of, they people get four clothes on or evicted lots of furniture i've seen <clears throat> my parents do this more than i don't really i'm not a furniture fanatic i know my parents they will love going to yard sales and they'll find great deals on furniture you can find something that's amazing looking for pennies on a dollar because somebody was moving. You can buy, you can get a nice furnishing and depending on your lifestyle, like if you're a bachelor or one person, like you're a man living on, you might get a whole set for less than $500 and get everything you need for, you get uh, uh, everything you need for your entire living arrangement. It can look really nice and you can get it for fractions on the price. <clears throat> There's no need to buy furniture new. Just make sure it looks good. It's not dirty or dingy, has fleas or something in it. You know, get it from a person like in the situation I mentioned. They're moving, they get, they got evicted, whatever the case is, and just get it and scoop it up. You're helping them out because you're giving them extra money to, to, to move whatever they need to do, and they need to clear the junk out, and then you get nice furniture that's at a fraction of the price. Why pay more when you can pay less? Get it at a good deal and enjoy it. So again, cars, clothes, exercise equipment, cheap lower-end computers, books, television, electronics, instruments, and furniture. All these are items you don't need to buy new. They're items you can buy, use, and get the same fulfillment out of them, and it's just fine. Nobody's going to know the difference. Nobody's going to care. It's all in your head. Get it used. Save your money. Put it towards investment. Put it towards starting a business. That's how you get wealthy is by good money management skills. I see the people, I see the poorest people, people who are barely getting by, and people in my own family, people who do this, who are always about buying the latest cell phone, the latest this, the latest that, the latest gadget, all brand new clothes every month, and then they're struggling. They can't figure out why. Buy things you keep things a long time, keep it and hold on to it. Stop wasting it on nonsense. Nobody cares except for you. And be, maybe some people you're trying to impress, but who cares about them? Impress yourself. I don't give a, I mean, I bought, I bought most of my suits new, but I bought some used because they had a certain look to them that I liked. And it is it's much cheaper. Than, how you know, like this suit, can you do you know if it's I bought it new or used? Who would know? It looks great, it's in great shape, it's tailored, it looks good on me. Who knows? You know. Enjoy it and, and, and buy use out be it, get the edge above others and then use that money for something else. You know, and let me know what you think. Do you do this already? Let me know as always. Like, subscribe, and transcend infinitely. Hey! Want more? Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment the video and subscribe to the podcast. Want even more? Check out the written article version and subscribe to the Infinite Transcendence website at infinitetranscendence.com for new and interesting quality content. Join now and receive a special gift. Also like our Facebook at Infinite Transcendence and follow us on Twitter at Transcend underscore world. Keep watching and listening. See you next time and transcend infinitely.